Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Monday, November 28th. Widespread snow discontinued throughout the day today with some Arctic cold moving in for your Tuesday. Looking at some slightly less increased chances for some showers as we get towards Tuesday and Wednesday with a second system moving in for midweek. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Keyboards we're going to focus on today. Scattered snow showers will continue throughout the day with winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories in effect through early Tuesday for our mountain regions outside of the Snake Plain. Breezy winds today will be leading to some blowing and drifting snow concerns impacting especially the morning commute today with frigid air moving in for Tuesday. So we'll have those strongest winds shift further south throughout the day today. And what that means is much colder air will work up and over the divide, leading to some very cold morning temperatures as you get further north for your Tuesday with continued mountain snow showers throughout the day. Our next system moves in for that Wednesday and Thursday time frame, looking at another round of widespread wide-fed snow with impactful mountain snow. And in between those two systems, we'll be seeing some light to moderate mountain snow showers continuing. Taking a look at satellite this morning, you can see we're fairly socked in. They've seen some areas of clearing as you get out towards the Arco Mud Lake Desert this morning. But fairly everyone will start off the day mostly cloudy, seeing some breaks of sun later part of today. But other than that, mostly cloudy skies are overhead here in eastern Idaho. And taking a look at the bigger picture, got a ridge of high pressure currently situated off the Pacific coast, generally about the center of the Gulf of Alaska. And an area of low pressure is currently overhead, so we got this broad upper level trough. And what this high pressure is going to be doing, bringing all that moisture up and over into Alaska, and then it's going to be working down the Aleutian Islands into the British Columbia coast. And as it works here into the Pacific Northwest, looking at a fairly favorable storm track this week, so seeing a few succession systems. And what that means is lots of snow for the mountains and continued cold temperatures as we get through the week. Weather for Scout look for the next five days, looking at widespread snow impacts for today. Those conditions will taper off for your Tuesday and Wednesday as we see some lighter winds and colder temperatures. Slight warming trend kicks off for the later part of the week as we have our next system working in for the later part of Wednesday into Thursday, with impactful mountain snow returning for areas outside of the Snake Plain for late Wednesday through Friday. Watch as warnings and advisories currently in effect, so do have those winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for those outside of the Snake Plain. Generally outside of these areas, we're looking at maybe about a trace to three inches in some places, locally higher as you get into the higher terrain, but certainly seeing those highest totals out towards the Wyoming, Utah, and Montana border regions. Take a look at the winter driving conditions. So this is on 511.idaho.gov. This is a look at the winter driving conditions this morning. Those shown in the darker shades here are going to be the where the higher impacts are for winter travel. And you can see a lot of the upper Snake Plains, Central Mountains, headed out towards the eastern and southern highlands, even on I-15 this morning, showing some you know fairly significant winter travel conditions. Just as a reminder as well today, Wyoming 22, headed out towards Victor through Jackson, will be closed through at least 8 o'clock this evening for avalanche mitigation. So seeing a lot of widespread snow impacts throughout the day, blowing and drifting snow, and again, Teton Pass closed today for avalanche mitigation. Webcam comparisons. So this is a look at earlier this morning, 12.40 a.m. This is taking a look at Bots State Highway 33, Idaho 33, out towards Clementsville. And this morning, you can see mostly snow-free roadways, but as we get towards just three hours later, 3.15 a.m., you can see widespread snow has inundated the roadways, lots of blowing and drifting snow. Wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour have been observed here. And we are seeing those winds trend back down, but areas where there's already been that wind and loading, a lot of the blowing that snow around will lead to some hazardous travel conditions as you're headed out the door for your Monday. Take a break that timing today. So we're starting off today, mostly clear skies as you get further north as far as precipitation wise, but we're seeing the continued impacts further east and we are expected that to continue throughout the morning hours. Slight break as you get further north, but as we get later part of this afternoon, areas of sunshine poking through will increase the chance for some convective snow activity. So the potential for some thunder snow, organized moderate to heavy bands of snow this afternoon certainly remains a possibility. And as this shown here on the model reflectivity, could have some moderate bands working through. So even throughout the day, May see a break this morning from that precipitation, but later this afternoon as well. Still looking at some impactful snow and periods of snow, looking fairly light to moderate in nature for accumulation, but certainly could see some moderate to heavy, you know, short-term accumulation underneath some of these bands. As we get towards 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon, most of the snow is going to be dissipating, generally confined to the mountains. We just got our eyes on a convergence band that will be working out from Arco into the Central Mountains. Headed towards your Rexburg, Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, Pocatello, I-15 corridor for the evening commute. And with that band, it's going to be working further south, and that's going to be bringing some light, moderate snow uh, throughout the evening hours to the I-15 corridor. And you can expect some snow showers around that general vicinity through the well into the evening hours. And as they get towards midnight tonight, we're going to see those snow showers 
with decrease in intensity and coverage and shift outside of the snake plain back to the mountains. But here's even midnight, still a slight chance for snow showers in and around Pocatello, further east out towards Soda Springs, Afton, and Jackson. But other than that, as we get towards 4 a.m., we'll be seeing mostly dry conditions across the forecast area with some patchy morning fog and areas that are clearing. Temperatures today starting off on the cool side of things further north, single digits above and below zero. But afternoon highs will be back into the 20s to mid 30s as you get further south. Wind gusts this morning. So the strongest wind gusts for today mostly have already occurred, especially, you know, those gusts 40, 50 miles an hour up in the upper Snake Plain and eastern highlands. So we'll see seeing those winds drop back down, but still could see those wind gusts about 30, 40, potentially 45 miles an hour in some places this morning. As we get towards this afternoon, we're looking at wind gusts again, shifting further south, those strongest gusts, a little bit lighter as you get further north, but certainly you can see those gusts up to about 25, 30, even 35 miles an hour as you get further southwest down towards Burley and Oakley. Temperatures for your Tuesdays. So we're talking about that Arctic air working in for your Tuesday morning. Single and double digits below zero all return for much of our northern and eastern mountain basins for your Tuesday morning. Everyone else, warmest locations will be in the mid-teens, single digits. But by Tuesday afternoon, much colder temperatures. You and no one will be seeing freezing for your Tuesday. Everyone will be stuck in that mid-teens to mid-20s for your Tuesday afternoon. This is taking a look at snowfall amounts 11 o'clock yesterday through 11 a.m. tomorrow. We're generally looking about a trace to 3 inches across much of our valley locations, but head further east of I-15, looking at about 3 to 8 inches in the valleys, a little bit less as you get up towards Island Park, but certainly an impactful mountain snow continues for the Big Holes, Tetons, and out towards the Bear River Range as well, where an additional 6 to 12 inches of snow is expected through tomorrow. Temperatures for your Wednesday, so slightly warmer in the morning, but still single and double digits below zero further north. With afternoon highs slightly warmer as we continue that warming trend as our next system works in, but afternoon highs continuing to be in the upper teens to mid-30s. And for your Thursday, we're keeping with that warming trend. We're going to keep those warmer overnight lows, so we're back into the all above zero for everybody. Uh, single digits will be the coldest for your Thursday morning, but everyone else will be in the teens and 20s. And by Thursday afternoon, we're looking at widespread highs, if not above freezing for many for, many, many, many parts of the forecast area, uh, with warmest locations as you get further south down towards Pocatello and Twin Falls in that 35 to 40 degree range. And this is taking a look at that snowfall late tonight through 11 p.m. on Thursday. So this is just a first look at those preliminary snowfall amounts. And you can see we're looking at an impactful period of snow, especially up towards the Wood River Valley, headed towards Stanley, seeing some of those impactful snowfall, especially as you get out into the Sawtooths, uh, generally north of Galena, northwest of Galena Summit. But other than that, looking at some pretty impactful snow in this area and continued mountain snow showers continuing for portions of the Teton Valley up through the eastern and southern highlands. Temperatures for your Friday, keeping with that trend of staying at least fairly stagnant for your Friday, if not slightly colder, seeing temperatures in the single digits and teens to start off the day, and afternoon highs will be back in the 20s and 30s. And for your weekend, keeping with that fairly stagnant air mass in place, we'll be keeping well below normal temperatures back in the 20s and 30s for your weekend. And a look at what's to come. So as we kick off December on a wetter note with some snow moving into the area, those conditions are expected to persist through at least the 7th of this month. So keeping with above normal favored precipitation and below normal favored temperatures. So this is good news for building that early season snowpack as we get through the early part of December. And 8 to 14, so this is carrying us through December 5th through 11th. A little bit less of that favored, but we're still leaning above for that above normal favored precipitation through December 11th. And below normal temperatures, again, likely below as we continue through December 11th. So keeping with that cold and wet pattern as we kick off December, and hopefully we can keep it going through the new year. In summer this morning, scattered snow showers will continue. We do have those winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories in effect through early Tuesday. Keep in mind out there, we've got those breezy winds in place leading to some blowing and drifting snow. will certainly impact the morning commute today. And be mindful of, you know, plows out there. Give them plenty of space. And, you know, as far as keeping an eye on those road conditions throughout the day today for any road closures and impacts. Frigid air moves in for your Tuesday, so got that Arctic air working in for your Tuesday morning with some continued mountain snow showers. We'll be seeing the decrease in intensity for Tuesday, of course, but we will have at least the general vicinity for some isolated moderate snow showers working in through Tuesday and Wednesday. But our next major round of snow will work in for Wednesday and Thursday with some another round of widespread snowfall and impactful mountain snow. This time further focused on the Central Mountains headed out towards the Water River Valley, Sun Valley, up towards the Stanley Basin area. But that wraps up your weather briefing for today, Monday, November 28th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome week.